Hey guys, today I'm going to be sharing with you my winter morning routine for school. So this is basically what happens every day when I get up and go for get ready for school. So it includes my morning skincare routine, um, very short clips of what I do with my hair and makeup. And then if you want to see my full out makeup routine, you can see that in my 50-50 tag. That's usually how I do my makeup in the mornings. And then it'll also include an outfit of the day for one of my favorite outfits that I've been wearing in the past few months for the winter time. So if you'd like to see what it looks like when I go through my morning routine for school, this is what it looks like. So the first thing I do every morning after my alarm goes off is stumble to the bathroom, usually in the dark, and then I get ready to take my shower. So when I go to take my shower, what I've been using recently is the coconut milk shampoo and conditioner from OGX, which used to be Organics, I think. I don't know. Then I use my Dorco razor to shave and the Dove Winter Care Body Wash, which is my favorite body wash ever. To save some time in the shower, I wash my face with the Biore Acne Clearing Scrub. Once I jump out of the shower, I start with my Listerine Whitening Mouthwash and I swish that around for a little while. P.S. If you've never tried a turby twist like I have on here, definitely try one. Then I'm going to brush my teeth with my Crest 3D White Glamorous White Toothpaste and my Arm & Hammer Spin Brush. And you know, just brush my teeth like normal people do in the morning. Next I tone my face, so I just use a cotton pad and the Body Shop Tea Tree Toner and rub that all over my face just in case there's any extra dirt or anything, any residue left over on my face. Next I'm going to dry that off a little bit, fan my face to speed up the process, and then I'm going to use my Acquaintance Brightening Serum and Spot Corrector, and I'm going to run that all over my face anywhere that I would have any dark spots that were left from acne or scarring or anything like that. I got this product from Influencer and I absolutely love it. I'm so sad that it's going to be gone soon because it's really expensive, but it's a great product. Then I'm going to use my favorite serum of late. This is the Ola Henriksen Truth Serum Collagen Booster. And this is the morning serum, so I'm just going to run that all over my face and that way it'll help brighten any dark spots. I think that's what the vitamin C is meant to do. Then I usually go in with some sort of wrinkle treatment. This is the CRX Anti-Wrinkling Serum. And I'm just going to run that on my forehead where I have more of wrinkle lines than anywhere else. Then I go in with my eye cream. This is the Origins Ginseng Eye Cream. This is my morning one. So it's supposed to have caffeine that's supposed to help depuff and brighten and I just run that under my eyes, obviously. Then I put on my moisturizer. This is the Ola Henriksen's Sheer Transformation Moisturizer. It's not my favorite, but I have it. I got it in a kit, so I'm working on using it up. It's okay. It's a light moisturizer for sure. Then I go in and I moisturize my lips. This is just some random chapstick. I think it might be a gingerbread scented one. It doesn't really matter for me what chapstick I use as long as I have something to hydrate my lips before my makeup. Now I'm going to start on my hair and I always try to pat it dry so the turby twist comes out and I try to make sure that I kind of pat down my hair so I take out any extra moisture with it before I move on to anything else. Then I'm going to go in with my wet brush and my Carol's Daughter Black Vanilla Leave-In Conditioner. So I'm going to spray that all over my hair to detangle and soften and then I go in with my wet brush which is meant for wet hair and comb out all the tangles and snarls because sometimes that's an issue in the morning. Then I go in with my Generic Value Products Smoothing Serum, which is basically the same thing as the Paul Mitchell Smoothing Serum. And I'm going to put that through my hair because it's supposed to help speed dry time and it helps soothe my hair and smooth it and make it a little less frizzy after I get done with heat styling. Last thing I go in with is my Carol's Daughter Macadamia Heat Protecting Serum. And this just makes my hair super soft and shiny and smooth and it makes me feel better about when I'm blow drying my hair that I'm not destroying it with heat. After all that, I go get dressed. I'll show you guys my outfit in just a little bit. And then I let my hair dry while I work on my makeup. So if you'd like to see my basic everyday work makeup routine, you can see my 50-50 tag where I pretty much talk through what I normally do here.
Usually then I'm going to blow dry my hair. It's too cold outside right now for me to not blow dry my hair and walk out with wet hair. And when my hair was longer I used to just throw it into a braid, but since I cut it short in the fall I really need to blow dry it and actually straighten it otherwise it looks crazy. As I finish that up, then I'm going to put on deodorant and perfume. The perfume I've been wearing lately is the Harvey Prince Skinny Chic, which I've been totally loving. Then I head back to my vanity and I'm going to straighten my hair. So I do this by sectioning off my hair with just a metal clip. And then I'm going to spray in the Tresemme Heat Protector Spray and just straighten it with my Remington Flat Iron. After I finish straightening to try to fight off some static and help increase the shininess and smoothness of my hair, I've been using the Dove Pure Care Dry Oil and I just kind of run that lightly over the ends and then any remainder I run over any flyaways that I have at the top of my hair. This is a typical outfit at school, so it's a Marisa sweater, then I have leggings from Windsor and boots that I got from my sister who got them off of Zoo Lily and then knee high socks. That is it for my morning routine, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I would love to know how long it takes you to get ready and what your favorite part of getting ready in the morning is. Mine is definitely putting on my makeup. I know that might be weird. I feel like I take a lot of time in putting my makeup on in the morning even if I'm going to go teach for a day full of school, but I just love putting on my makeup. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one.